Okay, are you guys ready? Ready? What's taking so long? Give me a second, will ya? <laughs> I look good, right? Aww. Where did you find that? You don't think I made this? Well, according to the price tag on the back... Okay, okay, fine. I got it at a store in the mall. Do they have more? I think so, but the zombies coming told me otherwise. You didn't go to Melrose Mall again, did you? That's the one. Damn it, all of the cutest stuff is in there. Maybe if we bring enough weapons... Or not? By the way, has anyone seen Chance in the last hour? I didn't see him. Oh great, what if he snuck out? I'll be right back. Chance? Chance. I'm just good at caring too much. I'm just good at caring too much. Hey, guys, where's Caitlin? It's been a while. I don't know, Chance is usually just around the corner. Oh, she just texted me that she's taking Chance for a walk. In the thunderstorm? I guess everything's okay then. If everything's okay, I should probably head back. Chase, Ever, are you coming? Um, hi? Hi! Well, where am I? Where are you? Yeah, where am I? I think I'm lost. This is Central Park. Where's that? Um, in the city? What city? Manhattan. Where's Manhattan? In New York. New York? <gasps> oh no, I'm on Earth. What's wrong? You don't like New York? No, it's not that. I'm not from here. And I don't know what to do to get back home. Where's your mom? Home? Where's your dad? He's home too. How did you get here? Did you walk? No, I must have did the spell wrong. Spell? Are you Harry Potter? No, I'm Jake. <laughs> What's your name? Everly. Nice to meet you, Everly. Can I tell you a secret? Sure, I can do magic. I don't think so, Jake. I can, watch. <gasps> are you sure you're not Harry Potter? <laughs> I'm sure. Where are you from? I'm from the Demon Realm. Demon Realm? What's that? I really don't know where it is, but my parents don't like me being on Earth. Why? Because they think I should stay in the demon realm. I don't know why. I've never been on Earth before. I was trying to read a spell that teleports me to the garden. I don't know how I messed up. I can't read very well. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> Jake! Everly! You found my school! Does this mean your mom is letting you go to school on Earth? Yeah, she is. I spent all week trying to convince her, and she finally said yes. Yay, this is going to be so fun. Let's go play. Okay, what year did the Titanic sink? 1912. What year did the movie come out? That's not even a question. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, you need to come home. Now. Okay, I'll be home when we're done studying. Grades don't affect you, remember? What do you mean? I want to graduate. Yes, in a public school for mortals. Son, come home. Let's just talk about it here. In front of her? Anything you could say in front of me, you could say it in front of Everly. Fine. Your father and I do not approve of you going to college. What? Why? Jake, you've done the Mortal School on Earth Act, okay? I do not want to spend money on something that you don't need. You're going to be a king! But I want to go. I've already been accepted into- I don't think you're understanding what we're saying. Here. Jake, you've spent the last 12 years with Everly in school. You graduate this year, and that's it. Say your goodbyes while you can, because she's going to be busy in college. Mom, Dad, I feel like I belong here. Of course you do. That's because you've spent more time on Earth than with your own family. Michael! What if I pay for it myself? Your college tuition? Honey, with what money? I'll get a job. You already have a job. To be the king of the demon realm when you turn 18 in February and graduate in the spring. We will see you back at home. <sighs> Damn it! Don't worry, it's going to be okay. Is it? Not only can I not go to college, but I can't see you anymore. What do you mean? You're going to college in New York, Ever. 
I don't want to get in the way of that. You're my best friend. You're never in the way. You sure about that? Well... Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll come with you guys. <sighs> Coming. Hey, guys, I didn't want to bring this up with Jake around, but how is Everly? She told me that it's hard to be around him, but she just wants some time alone. Poor Ever. Yeah, I know. Come in. You know, it isn't safe if you don't check the door. Toby? What? What are you doing here? I came over to check on you. You know, see how things are? They're just great. Speaking of things... Have you told Jake? Every time I try to tell him what happened and that we sorta of dated, I freeze up. And I don't say anything. Liam taking away six months of my life isn't why I'm feeling like this. It's the thought that it was real. Being with my best friend. My first ever real love. Have you ever been in love, Toby? I have. What happened? Let me tell you a little story about Lena Russo. She was gorgeous. She had these beautiful eyes that could brighten up your day just by looking into them. She liked to write poems, but never showed anyone except her close friends or family. Oh, by the way, do you have a charger? My phone's dead. Oh yeah, it's in the kitchen. Thanks. Help yourself to anything in the fridge. I'm taking a ginger ale. Grab one for me too. Thanks. By the way, she sounds great. She was, she was, but it all came crashing down before the winter dance. You see, it was rumored that Lena's best friend Angela liked this guy on the football team. So I asked Lena what the big deal was, but I later found out that this guy liked Lena instead. Did you do anything? Well, long story short, we fell out of love and she started dating the guy. Toby, I'm so sorry. No, <laughs> it's okay. Towards the end, our relationship wasn't the strongest. What happened to her friend Angela? For starters, she was furious with Lena. That doesn't sound like it ended well. No, it did not. So, who did you end up going to the dance with? I, uh, actually didn't end up going. Oh, Toby, why not? You could have shown Lena what she was missing. It was a last minute decision. Oh wait, no, I remember. I did have a date that night. What was her name? Cookie dough ice cream. With chocolate sauce? Of course. <laughs> Water, please. You have a lot of nerve coming back here after what you did to my sister. Water, huh, Chase? I forgot you're not 21 yet. But then again, neither am I. Get out of this hotel, Autumn. I'm just trying to have a nice, civil conversation. Civil? Yeah. That ship sailed over a year ago and you hurt my friends. Ugh, Chase Grayson. So loyal. Why did you kill my sister? I knew you would ask that question sometime. Answer the dumb question. She's what you call collateral damage. Get out of my hotel. <laughs> it had to be done. I mean, killing the spirits back in LA would have been too easy. No one saw Mara's death coming. But we didn't do anything to you. Nothing. We stayed away from you, just like you wanted. Just like I wanted? Oh, Spirit King, getting even is off the table. You and your friends are a threat to me. And why don't you explain why? No matter what I do, all of you find a way to retaliate. We haven't retaliated for months, Autumn. I know, and I wasn't having any fun. What is wrong with you? But I found a way to stop all of this. By the way, did Caitlin find her dog? Excuse me? Take the most important piece to everyone off the chessboard and everyone goes ballistic. Autumn, where is Caitlin? For the past 10 minutes, we've been having this lovely conversation. She's on her way to a better place, or at least in time she is. That's it. Tell me where she is, Autumn, or I swear. Even if I tell you, you're already going to be too late. Where is she? You know, if you let me go, it'll be the second time you let death take someone you care about away. I'm done with your incessant mind games, Autumn. You took my friends away. No one else. You. I guess that makes me special then, huh? Where is she? It's the map I drew out of the direction she's going in. Hey, where do you think you're going? The clock is ticking, Chase. If you call Caitlin's friends now and tell them where she's going, you can save her. If you escort me out and call security, you'll be wasting time and she'll already be dead. So, what's your choice? I just texted you guys a picture of the map. She could be anywhere on that road. But why would Autumn go through the trouble of giving you a map if Luna can just drink a potion to track her?
I can't. She's cloaked. You're kidding, right? She could be anywhere on this map. We should just spread out and stand around. What if it's another one of Autumn's tricks? We can't just let Caitlyn die. I never said that. Guys, we're wasting time. Come on. Toby's not answering his phone. We gotta get going. You're finally awake. Where am I? Liam? <laughs> you kidnapped me? Yeah, I mean, after being in Jake's body for half a year, Autumn thought it was finally time to continue her plan. Let me go. Yeah, right. By the way, you didn't mind if I used your phone, do you? I had to text your cousin and tell her you're walking your dog. Where are we going? Midpoint Lake. Yeah. Your little applesauce May 29th thing isn't working. It's because the car is cloaked. So even if your friends find the route we're taking, they can't see the car. You're crazy, Liam. No, I'm not, Caitlin. This is just fun. Why are we going to the lake? I'm not going. You're going straight down to the bottom. What? Ugh, nothing's working. Here, try this. Thanks, Trinity. You know, I gotta admit, Trinity, having a spirit to protect you is such a different feeling. Tell me about it, but at least I'm protecting someone that is my friend. Ashby's crazy for thinking she didn't need you. Well, I'm happy you needed me, Megan. Any luck, Luna? No, it's like the entire car Liam's driving is cloaked too, not just Caitlyn. Then how can we get there on time if there's no way to see where they are? You still have a chance to be saved right when the car goes off the road. What are you talking about? As soon as I teleport out of this car, the cloaking spell wears off. But you'll be dead by then. Just don't hurt my friends, okay? Listen to you, gorgeous. Old noble. Too bad I can't make any promises. If you hurt them, I'll- You'll what? I'll take my chances. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. My dad didn't support what I wanted to do for a career after he saw my major. What was your major? Fashion and design. Well, what's wrong with that? He thought I wasn't going to get anywhere with what I wanted. I know what you mean. My dad didn't really like my major either. Did he not get the whole technology thing? Not really. My mom didn't mind, but he wanted me to major in something like a medical practice. Dr. Toby Marciano. Yeah, I can't see you being a doctor. Thank you. At least someone agrees with me. <laughs> So, do you have any siblings? Two, actually. My little sister Marie and my little brother Adam. You? No, I'm an only child. Wow, an only child growing up in the richest neighborhood in Manhattan. Must have been some fun holidays without siblings. It wasn't all just luxury and gifts, if that's what you mean. I would have killed to grow up in your life. Not worrying about paying the bills in the tiny apartment we had when I was going to high school. Parents not worrying about extra shifts. But you got that time with your family. Having those Christmases together. Arguing about who's gonna break the wishbone. Mine wasn't all perfect. And that's why I envy you. You envy me. Damn straight. <laughs> hey, I never did ask you. If you were going to school in New York and you lived there, what brought you all the way down to Los Angeles? My uncle's wedding. He lives here, so I decided to visit. This house is actually my cousin's. The wedding took place the day the apocalypse fully took over. I remember my aunt saying that she was going to pick up the cake. She took all of my cousins and I waited here, but they never came back. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'd like to think that they escaped and made it out of here. Hey, Toby. Thanks. For what? For being here and making me feel a lot better. I thought it was the friendly thing to do. We're friends? Sure we are. <laughs> okay. You know, up until now, I didn't even know we had so much in common. Yeah, same here. Well, I should probably get going. Oh, by the way, how was the ginger ale? I've never had this brand before, so... <laughs> it was good. Okay, great. You used to wear glasses, right? Only when I would read books or I was on my computer. I'm farsighted. Oh, so do you have contacts? Yeah, for the most part. Well, I really am glad we're friends, Toby. Yeah, yeah, me too. Damn it, Toby, where are you? I got here as fast as I could. Any luck? We can't track Caitlyn, and Toby isn't answering his phone. He's not even here. Where is he? He'll be back soon, probably. But guys, we can't just take any chances. That's why we have to leave. Now! Don't bother, we're almost there. This is your death sentence, Caitlin. Autumn probably felt jealous that I'm getting a front row seat. Of course she did. You know, these friends of yours had a map, and I haven't seen any of them trying to save you. That's because you cloaked the car and you're going 85 miles an hour. I won't get a speeding ticket, just the joy of seeing you die. And look, we're here. Welcome to your end, Caitlin Jennings. 
No, no, Liam, stop! Don't worry, if the car starts rolling, you'll be in the lake. But I think it can crash at the bottom of this hill just fine. You're wasting your time, Caitlin. I guess this will be the last time we see each other. It's been a blast. No, no, Liam! The cloaking spell is gone. Caitlin!